Okay. Guess what? What? Well, the Ghostbusters came out today. Yeah, yeah. And I got motherfucking spoilers for your bitch ass. All right. All right, you ready for this? Ghostbusters I'm ready. And, and, and fuck you, Zach. Fucking pussy. And I still don't have the entire fucking movie. That's why I'm not going to have much to show you, literally. Uh, But I'm going to talk about it. I, there's just some spoilers because the, 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 you know what this is what I was going to tell you that you're a pussy geek because apparently the Ghostbusters fan dumb are a bunch of pussies and it pisses me <laughs> off because I, I used to consider myself part of the fandom yeah. and since they're pussies I don't want to be associated with them I just I'm, just, I'm not part of them but I do love Ghostbusters but I'm not okay. part of them like, <laughs> okay. like geek is you know what I'm saying <laughs> But anyways, uh, the fandom, they're a bunch of pussies. Because even though they've all seen the movie, they don't want to spill the whole movie. They only want to <laughs> spill certain things about the spoilers. Alright? So I just got So this is what I got for you, Kike. Because then you, okay. you get ready to get wet and whatever it is you do to masturbate right. before you come. Shut the fuck up. Anyways, uh, so yeah. Uh, we know that Janine, you know, Ghostbusters, what do you want? Yeah. Uh, she comes out in the very beginning in the scene, and, she, mm -hmm. and then she doesn't. You don't see her for the rest of the movie. Most of the movie is the kids and when this fucking woke ass, sexy as motherfucker alive, Paul <laughs> Rudd and shit. And uh, and uh, you know, it's mostly the trailer. You know, the kids find Egon shit. You know, and and they don't know what Egon's past, but then they they start figuring it out and shit. And they yeah. call Ray, the little girl, when when all this the ghost and all the tremors start happening, all this shit. The little girl calls calls the number of this old video she saw of the Ghostbusters, so she calls the number and Ray, mm -hmm. uh, Dan Aykroyd answers, Yeah, and he's he's actually an owner of some kind of a cult bookstore, and she, yeah. and she starts talking to it's her. It's in yeah, Ghostbusters yeah. too. And she tells him, yeah, she tells him, uh, she tells him, hey, um, uh, fucking, uh... I hope she didn't say fucking, uh... No, I'm calling you because of what happened <laughs> in the fucking night. And she starts telling him everything about ghosts uh -huh. and everything, you know, and then He's all like, well, yeah, all that shit happened. And she goes, why did you all stop being Ghostbusters? And, and he tells her that it was Egon one day. He grabbed all the shit in the, in the middle of the night when they were all asleep. He took all the equipment, everything, even the Ecto-1, and they never saw him again. Oh, wow. Yeah. And wow. Ever, and ever since then, they all just went their separate ways because they were all like, what the fuck? Egon just got up and left, and the little wow. girls. The little girl tells uh, Ray, "Like, hey, well, I'm fucking Egon's granddaughter, and he's dead." And so Ray's like, "Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, and he was a good friend, and this and that." And as she's about to tell him that they're in trouble because it goes her, the line cuts out because you know the spirits are interfering and shit. Mm -hmm. and and then the rest of the movie plays out and shit, and they go underneath to the mine, and they find out there's a temple there, and Egon knew all yeah. about it, and he was trying to protect yeah. it, and all that bullshit uh, that Zaz says didn't happen, but it did, you pussy. Uh, if you were a real man, you'd come in here on the comments and spill the whole movie, you pussy. But you don't, because you live in your goddamn mom's basement, and she bought you a ticket to Comic-Con, and I think you're lying and shit, because she's mad because you don't have a job and can't pay rent and shit. <laughs> hey. Proceed. Okay, proceed. All right. So at the end, they're facing Gozer, the kids, because they already got practice slaying ghosts with their fucking proton packs and all that shit uh, during the movie. And the, all, all four woke ass new young Ghostbusters, they fucking uh, uh, try to fight Gozer and they're losing and shit. And then all of a sudden, uh, uh, Ernie Hudson, uh, Winston, uh, yeah. Bill Murray, uh, Venkman. Mm -hmm. And Dan Aykroyd, Ray, uh, show up, and 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 Bill Murray's all like, "Did you miss us, baby, or whatever the fuck?" And they start <laughs> shooting Gozer. Uh, oh, get ready, KK. Mm -hmm. This no one knows about yet. Gozer 
is being played by Olivia Wilde. And I know I fucked up because I didn't send you a picture, but I'm about to send it to you right now. Uh, uh, <laughs> shit. Because uh, I know you know her, but I know you're not going to know by just me saying it and shit. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't associate people by, by names that well unless I really like them or dig them. Olivia, well, I mean, she sounds familiar as fuck. But what do you mean, please, go, sir? She does the voice. No, (laughs) she physically (laughs) does. They put her in makeup and shit, and she Uh is Gozer. Oh, 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 Gozer! I thought you were talking about. Oh, I'm I'm fucking drunk. All right, whoa, whoa, that looks. Wow, there is a resemblance. She's, she's, she's. I mean, it still goes her. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know if this Gozer fucking. I don't know if the old actress OD'd or something, or maybe she's like not woke enough. I don't know what happened. Why they couldn't find her? Maybe she. <laughs> probably, she, did, she probably doesn't look the same. She didn't age well and shit. She did probably. a lot of meth and shit. Maybe she already had not a coke problem. <laughs> she already had a coke problem and shit. You know, she didn't. She doesn't drink baby's blood. Plain and simple. Oh, wow. Um, and so yeah, uh, yeah. Olivia Wilde. Dad, I, uh, they have the fa- the same frame. That's crazy. Okay, yeah, let me explain to you what happens in the movie. So uh-huh. the, the the three Ghostbusters are trying to fight her, but mm-hmm. they're they're not enough. And McKenna, the little little Jewish girl, she figures out. Yeah. Uh, because Egon, this whole time, like I told you, like I fucking told you, and that fucking guy in the leak said that Egon mm-hmm. has been guiding the little girl and telling her and shit. To do this stuff. Wow. And and at the end of the movie, she finally sees the ghost of Harold Ramis, aka wow. Egon Spangler. Is it Spangler? It is Spangler. Yeah, Egon Spangler. Spangler. Uh, and it doesn't look silly like you said it was, uh-huh. like Slimer and shit. It actually looks like Harold Ramis. It okay. doesn't speak. It doesn't speak. But the little girl figures it out that she also, because there was four of them who crossed the stream to uh-huh. fight Go- Gozer. So she becomes the fourth one that helps them, and they defeat Gozer for the last and final time. Wow! And then Harold Ramis, Egon Spangler, says goodbye to them. You don't not his voice. He just they say that he just says goodbye. So I'm guessing he waves or something. Mm-hmm. And then he disappears. Wow, that is cool as fuck. And then we get uh, the end of credit scenes, and there's two end of credit scenes. The first one is Janine, the uh-huh. Ghostbusters. What do you want? Yeah. Janine, and she goes up to Winston. And Winston is like, I don't know what he's in charge of something. Uh-huh. Oh, shit, he's rich. He's rich as fuck. Because because <laughs> it's a woke world now, and woke yeah, people yeah, are yeah. becoming fucking billionaires and shit. So he's rich as fuck. And then uh, she goes and talks to him, and they're talking about Ray. And Janine says, "Well, like you know, I I we I pay Ray's rent and all that shit." And I, I forget what Janine is part of. She has money too, but she tells Winston like, "Hey, we should just buy the old. We should just start it up again, Ghostbusters." And shit. Yeah. And he's all like, "All right." And then they see they go and they buy the fucking Ghostbusters, the the, the old building, the old building, the old fireplace building. Yeah. yeah. And so it kind of teases that they might start it up again, but maybe not. Maybe them teaching the kids. Yeah. It doesn't yeah, yeah, say yeah. the kids, but it may maybe that's what they're leading to a new generation. Mm-hmm. Uh. And then the last end of credit scene is Bill Murray and uh, Venkman mm-hmm. and, and Dana Sigoni Weaver, Weaver. Oh wow! And Sigoni is doing the same shit that he used to do to the chicks with the cards. Oh yeah! And, yeah, yeah. and she keeps <laughs> zapping him. <laughs> and then <laughs> and then he tells her, you know, uh, I was I only used to do this to pick up girls. <laughs> and that's how that ends. <laughs> the movie ends. That is awesome, dude. Uh, so yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, I'm gonna get maybe midweek. Um, I think I'm gonna venture and watch it on the fucking theater. I'm not sure yet. But, I'm saving. Uh, I'm saving my one risk of my life for Spider-Man. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah I'm giving myself one, one risk. A year, <laughs> and the risk this year is gonna be for Spider Man No Way Home, and then maybe next year I'll have, I'll, I'll risk it for something else. But yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm still gonna take right. a small little bottle of Lysol. 
Oh, dude, I always take fucking like I I've always been like this. I always take the fucking like. If anyone's you know, next wipes. to me, I'm gonna spray them. <laughs> hey, like shit like this. Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel, and check out the full podcast on the link to the right, where we discuss more topics we don't post on these short videos. Peace.